Um, hello everybody, my name is Olivier Archer and I am the creator of Bizangle Blast. Bizangle Blast is a 3D physics game that I made with the UDK. The UDK is the Unreal Development Kit. Uh, if you are an indie developer ga uh, and you want to make games, it's a great place to start because it's free and it's the same license used to make big games such as Mass Effect and Unreal Tournament, Gears 4, all of that. Anyways, it's free. It's an awesome deal. It's a great way to learn. Check it out. Anyways, back to my game. Bizango Blast, is, as I said, is a 3D physics game where you control the Bizango cannon and you have to shoot things. What are you going to shoot? You're going to shoot satellites and another enemy which will be revealed in the story later on as you progress through the game. Uh, you, well, I'll show you instead of just explaining it. But in the meantime, this is the title screen. You have an options menu where you can turn on and off the sound. But unfortunately, you will not be able to listen to your own music on your iPhone while playing the game. This is unfortunately a UDK uh, limitation, and if it's fixed in the future, I'll fix it too. You have the game credits, you can find a little bit of information about me uh, and all the people who I thanked in the cr process of making this game. And lastly, uh, there's a reset all data button. But don't worry, you have to hold two buttons to reset all data so you can't just reset all your data by accident. Uh, this will erase all the high scores and every level that has been unlocked. So that way if you want to play through everything again and unlock everything again, you can. Some people like that, some don't. It's there. It was useful for debugging, so why not? Uh, this is the level selection. Uh, as you unlock them, they will pop up like that. Uh, I'll show you the first stage. The last level I'm not showing because I would like that to be a surprise for people who buy the game. It's gonna, I'm going to release it for a dollar initially and uh, raise it to two dollars eventually. Uh, so get it early. Uh, I'll show you the first level. It's quite easy. It's the first one, and it's to teach you how to play the game. All right, so you have the pause button at the top, the top left-hand corner. You have your high score and score displays. Uh, you have the arrows at the bottom, which uh, control the cannon. Up and down changes the pitch, and left and right to it changes the direction where you're aiming. Quite simple. These little balls around the fire icon, uh, that tells you how much ammo you have left. Um, they disappear as you shoot. And then the fire button, well, it fires the cannon. Uh, I thought uh, I would make it as simple as possible. Uh, I'm shooting and we got it. So, first level is very easy. But I'm not going to get three stars because I didn't break down everything. If you break down everything, you get three stars because that stuff gives you more points. And the point is to break as much stuff as you can, but not, but don't hurt the eggs. But you don't have any eggs yet, I'll show you soon. We go to stage two. Well, level, yeah, stage two, level one. This is where you get the first power. It's the down blast power. Uh, the way that the powers work in this game is that once you shoot the ball, an icon will pop up on the bottom left hand, bottom right hand uh, corner of the screen, and you press and hold it. Uh, my tiny tower. Uh, when you hold it, uh, time will slow down, and you'll have um, a, a laser guide. So it works like this. There you see, time slows down uh, continuously while you're holding it, and then when you let go. It will follow where the laser was pointing and hit whatever is there. It's a very, very useful power. I use it a lot. It's one of my favorites. But... Ooh, I missed. No! Uh, don't overuse it because it can backfire sometimes and I will show you just after this how it can backfire. Gotcha. So, for example, if I was to hit this with the down blast, uh, it will transfer all of its energy into the structure and shake up the egg. Oh, no! And that's how you lose. So, 
use it when you can. There are creative ways of using it as well. Yeah. Your imagination is the limit. And there could be power combos, but I'm not saying anything. That's for you guys to figure out on your own. All right, this is stage three. It's a desert level. You get another new power here, which I will show you. It is uh, the split power. So basically you shoot the ball just like uh, before, but this time uh, the icon comes on the left bottom corner. It's the same deal. You hold it, time slows down, you'll have your guides, but balls will shoot out from the left and the right hand side of the ball that you shot. Thus, giving you the chance to hit three things at one time. Uh, I usually get this, but since I'm recording it, I'll probably miss because that's how the demos are. But let's try it out. Ah, and then... No, it's too high. And I missed. As I said I would. Alright, let's try this again. Eh. And... Hold it, hold it. Oh! I held it too long. But yeah, you get the idea. I'm just terrible at this when people touch me. Oh, no. oh, oh! Well, there was a ricochet from the other stuff. Oh, and I hit it. Oh, not on the eggs. And oh, that's 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 just cruel. Yeah, but anything can happen in this game. You can lose miserably, as I just did. Or you can win in one go. Oh no, they booed me. Um, I'll show you the final level, uh, stage. It's stage 4. It's all kind of dark and scary. These are the crystals. Uh, this is what the loonies get their powers for, from. But um, they're very, very reactive and unstable, so... If I was to hit the green one, for example, I wonder what would happen. Oh, I use the power to hit it. Oh no, everything is moving. Uh, yeah, so, everything is moving. It's, it's a very interesting element. Careful. It's not all good. An egg died. How do you feel about that? And you get the last one. Yay, the down blast is very useful. Also, if you hit the red one, it uh, makes it spin the other way. The green and the red change the direction. In the other levels, more and more uh, crystals appear different colors and they have different reactions when they get hit so things can get a bit hectic later on in the levels anyways this has been uh, the Bizango Blast uh, preview kind of demonstration uh, I hope you enjoyed it Bizango Blast should hopefully be on the App Store by the time you see this if not it'll probably be in a few days because it's being reviewed by Apple right now well it's waiting for review uh, if you have any questions, comments, send me a message and I will answer. If you like this video, like it, I guess. Uh, you know, the like button, like when you win the game. Ooh. And yeah, uh, stay tuned because I'll be making more videos kind of showing you how I made the game from behind the scenes in the UDK, all the kismeting and how I set it up. That should be interesting if you are interested in game development. Well, thank you for watching. My name is Olivia Archer, and the game has been Bazango Blast. Take care and have a good day.